normal job. I'm not a movie star. I don't make a million dollars. And she has charged me $300,000 for this court case. Oh, that's lovely. How much have you actually paid? Two hundred thousand. Uh, Some of that because she put a lien on my house, so I had to pay her. But she so still you, wants a hundred thousand. Uh, well, you hear what you can do. You can say no. She'll sue you, and then she has to defend every single moment she's on. And uh, boy, three hundred thousand. So that must have been a vicious divorce with you and your ex. Well, no. We. How do you spend three hundred thousand dollars on a regular divorce? <laughs> He got two different, three different attorneys, so she made me start over every time. And then a friend of mine used the word churning. He said, I think she was churning. Uh -huh. then um, if that's the case, by the way, uh, that mm -hmm. gets very interesting in front of the state bar. And what you want to do is say, hey, I'm not going to pay you. Uh, I think what you've done is uh, you uh, padded the bill, and uh, here's what we're going to do. By law, by the way, is this Los Angeles, incidentally? Orange County. Orange County. Uh, and I don't know if it's Los Angeles or all of Southern California. You want to call the Orange County Bar and find okay. out if they have a mediation uh, team. In L.A., I think it's mandatory where you have to sit down and have a mediation uh, with uh, a mediator in the middle of all this describing what's going on. Now, it's not binding, but at least you know where you're going. And if mm -hmm. it turns out that the attorney can't really justify, then the mediator's gonna uh, say to the attorney, hey, you got a real issue here. So you wanna say no to that. I'm not gonna pay you $100,000. I think uh, you may have been padding the bills. First thing you want is a full accounting, a full okay. accounting of every minute she spent. Then you wanna take it to a lawyer, for example, uh, you know, your friend, well, I'm assuming is a lawyer, right? At work, yes. Okay, so you say we take a look at this in just a few minutes, and if it turns out, for example, charging you uh, three hours for a letter uh, that had actually previously been written and just changing the names or changing the dates, I mean, it's fairly easy to see whether uh, there is churning or not going on. Now, depending on how clever she is, uh, a lawyer can make a bill look really good. Yes. I've, I've had yes. those happen. Mm -hmm. She put on my statement courtesy credit. Oh, yeah, it's a crock. Every... Yeah, that's a crock. You know, courtesy credit. It... So she charges you twice and knocks off 10%. Eh, you know, I've, I've never mm -hmm. bought those. So that's starters. Ask for, ask for a full accounting. Then mm -hmm. ask for a mediation. Then you go to the state bar. Okay. And, and you make the accusation to the state bar if you believe you've been ripped off. Because starting okay. all over, you see that, that right the way you told me, if you file the papers, new attorney comes in, there's nothing to start all over. Your attorney doesn't have to right. refile anything. She said it would save me money if I would just redo it all myself. Otherwise, they'd have to go through the files and pull it all. Let him go through the files and pull it all. And then the judge at the trial asked her, why did you not do motion to compel? To move this along faster so at break i asked her what is what is the motion to compel all right you've got we could have brought yeah okay you've go, got plenty you you've got plenty there carol you've got plenty i would uh, yeah. start saying i'm not going to pay you now let's go and figure out how much you ripped me off okay and we're going to go to work Fair on that much. one exactly i think yeah. i think you'll do okay uh un unless that attorney actually did all that work but not by the sounds of what carol is telling me uh wow don't you love lawyers? Aren't lawyers terrific? <laughs> and in the end, whenever there's a divorce, is the parties end up at exactly the same place they would. Anyway, that's what's so hilarious about this. I'm going to get a lawyer. Don't get, get sure, you're going to get a lawyer, and two things happen. You get lawyers who churn or legitimately do the work, but uh, they just want to do a lot of work because lawyers are getting paid hourly on, uh, on these kinds of cases. So it's in their best interest, of course, to actually rack up the hours. The way to do it, assuming that you can be amicable, is uh, you sit down and I would hire one lawyer. This is the way I would do it if my wife were ever to divorce me, is you hire one lawyer to draft all the paperwork. Everybody gets their own lawyer to look at the paperwork, signs off, and you're done. And I don't care if you have a multi-million dollar estate. Maybe you have to do uh, an accounting, maybe you have to do an appraisal, uh, but, but agreeing in advance
you know, it, it makes all the sense in the world. I, I had a friend of mine that was in the millions of dollars in attorney's fees and was in exactly the same place when he started. It wasn't his fault. His wife was the one that initiated all this because he asked to sit down. But, you know, millions of dollars were gone. And by the way, it came out of her side, too. All right, Adam. There you go. Why, why don't we try Adam? Hello, Adam. Welcome to Handle on the Law. Yeah, hey, Adam. Bill. Yes, Long sir. Time listener, fourth time. Okay. I a question about my sister. She is married, been married for five years. She's kind of uh, breaking up with the dude, wants to divorce him. But rumors, rumors are that a few months ago, he won the lotto, about $5 million on a scratcher at a liquor store. The liquor store owner has, has told her, has told my brother. Uh, the people, friends in the neighborhood all know about it. They keep, everybody keeps telling like, yeah, that dude, that guy with the truck, right? That's your husband, right? Right? Well, yeah, he won $5 million. So he won't tell her. They're on the rocks. She are they still are they still married? State lotto. Okay, are they still married? They're still married. Are they living together? Yeah, still married, and I call state. Um, yes, yes. Okay. Yes and no. She stays at my house sometimes. No, but that's all right. They're still they're still together. Okay, so they're still together. They're still in the same house. Although I don't know if that has uh -huh. anything to do with it. And uh, you want to know? First of all, is she entitled to half the winnings? The answer is yes. What happens if What happens if she gets divorced? Is she entitled? Is she uh, entitled now? How can I we think, find out about the money? Because the state think lotto won't tell us. I think she's entitled now, and the state lotto won't say because obviously he's not the uh, she's not the winner. Uh, it's time for a lawyer. It's time for a lawyer to make that demand, and uh, he is. Okay. It's going to get very interesting because if it turns out that he has the ticket and denies it under perjury, uh, that he's got big problems. And if he's waiting to cash in, I think you have okay. a year to cash it in. Uh, it's, I would certainly talk to a lawyer. Go to handleonthelaw.com and uh, any civil lawyer to find out where you stand because they're, they're, okay. there probably has to be some kind of a motion at this point to haul him in front of an attorney and uh, at least argue that uh, he's won the lotto and he's holding off for the sole purpose of denying her those benefits. Oh, yes. All right. August. Hello, August. Welcome to Handle on the Law. Hello. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have a domestic violence case that I'm uh, facing right now, and uh, I have a court date coming up, and um, I've been, my, my uh, probation has been revoked because the prosecutor keeps arguing to the judge that she believes my um, AA mandatory three meetings a week, that the signatures are false or fraud or suspicious. And she's done that for the last three months. And now finally the judge just said, okay, we're going to revoke uh, your probation and you have a hearing coming up. And I'm panicked that that means, does that automatically mean that they're just going to send me to jail? No, no, no. A hearing is going to determine whether or not those were legitimate meetings. So you get to bring in all of the signatures and ask the prosecutor on what basis uh, are you saying that I'm not attending these meetings? He can't just say, I think that uh, you're not attending the meetings. Uh, I would also bring in at that hearing one of uh, the leaders of those meetings, uh, the one that you've been attending the most who has signed off at all those meetings just to walk into court and be sworn in and you ask, have I attended those meetings? And he says, yeah, yeah, I signed off. You were there every time I said you were. And then what's the prosecutor going to say at that point uh, to the meeting right. leader? You're a liar. He wasn't there. That's not going to fly. You should you well, should be okay. That, okay. Well, she said that uh, she's going to send her investigators out. You know, Fine. You know, I don't see how Let her. Let her. What's the investigator going to say when you're at the meeting? Is the investigator going to say you're not at the meeting? Right. So what I would do I, I, is I, I would do, bring your phone and uh, have yeah. someone do his, uh, a picture of you and the meeting leader and take right. the, the document, take a picture of that. And uh, what more are they going to do? Right. So you're going to be fine. Okay. I wouldn't worry about it. You're, you, you should be OK. I wonder why the prosecutor does, is doing that, because obviously the prosecutor hates you uh, with uh, just a passion. I want to tell you about uh, public Wi-Fi. When you're using public Wi-Fi, uh, you don't know who else is there. You don't know who's listening. And it's easy to listen when you're on public Wi-Fi unless the Wi-Fi signal is encrypted, which is why I suggest you contact Norton 
Norton Secure VPN, an easy to use virtual private network that uses bank grade encryption to hide your online activity. So those cockroach cyber criminals can't see your private information when you're connected to Wi-Fi or even the companies that are listening to what you say or tracking it down just to find out where you're buying, where you're talking. You don't need any of that. Norton Secure VPN blocks those online conversations that you have. It's Norton Secure VPN, really easy to use. You just download, uh, you can browse privately, secure your connections today. Head to norton.com slash VPN. Protection starts at just six, as 333 a month for the first year with an annual enrollment. Love being protected by uh, Norton. That's